in a saga that speaks volumes about the complexities and challenges facing minority coaches in the NFL, Eric Bieniema, the former offensive coordinator of the Kansas City Chiefs, finds himself once again on the sidelines of the head coaching carousel. Despite overseeing one of the league's most dynamic offenses alongside the revered Andy Reid, Bienyama's aspirations of leading a team from the helm continue to elude him. Over the past six years, Bienyama has navigated the interview circuit with nearly half of the NFL franchises, showcasing his acumen and leadership prowess. Yet, despite his undeniable success and the precedent set by counterparts in similar positions, the coveted head coaching role has remained elusive. This anomaly stands in stark contrast to the customary trajectory in the league, where coordinators of Bienyama's caliber often ascend to head coaching positions. In a strategic move aimed at bolstering his credentials and carving his own path, Bienyama joined the Washington Commanders as offensive coordinator, hoping to distance himself from the shadow of Reed and stake his claim as a visionary leader in his own right. However, even this calculated career pivot failed to yield the desired outcome, as the Commanders opted to hire Dan Quinn as their head coach, bypassing Bienyama once again. The implications of Bienyama's repeated snubs extend beyond individual career trajectories, sparking conversations about systemic biases and the inherent challenges faced by minority candidates in securing leadership roles within the NFL. Despite strides towards diversity and inclusion within the league, Bienyama's ordeal highlights the persistent barriers that hinder equitable opportunities for minority coaches. Speculation abounds regarding the underlying factors contributing to Bienyama's protracted wait for a head coaching role. Some attribute it to a harsher standard applied to minority candidates, a phenomenon that contrasts sharply with the leniency afforded to their white counterparts. Others point to the exceptional prowess of Reed and star quarterback Patrick Mahomes, suggesting that Bienyama's contributions may have been overshadowed by their success. However, testimonials from within the Chiefs organization paint a different picture, with players acknowledging Bienyama's instrumental role in fostering accountability and excellence within the team. Despite such endorsements, Bienyama's resume fails to translate into tangible opportunities, leaving observers perplexed and disheartened by the apparent disconnect between merit and recognition. As Bienyama's quest for a head coaching position continues, parallels are drawn to past figures who faced similar predicaments. Sherman Lewis, the former offensive coordinator for the Green Bay Packers, shares Bienyama's story of being overlooked despite his undeniable contributions to the team's success. Like Lewis, Bienyama's journey serves as a sobering reminder of the entrenched obstacles faced by minority coaches in their pursuit of leadership roles within the NFL. In the face of adversity, Bienyama remains resolute, his unwavering commitment to excellence undiminished by setbacks and snubs. As the league grapples with issues of diversity and representation, the case of Eric Bienyama serves as a poignant reminder of the work that remains to be done in fostering an inclusive and equitable environment for all coaching candidates, regardless of race or background.